most famous personality, in computer field. Every day you will be notified with a new video which improves your knowledge day by day. So, don't forget to subscribe, and click the notification bell. Linus Torvalds Linus Torvalds, the creator of the Linux kernel. Linus was born in Helsinki, Finland, on December 28, 1969. When Linus was 10 years old, his grandfather, purchased a Commodore VIC-20 computer. Linus served as an assistant, to his grandfather, by entering data, into his grandfather's programmable calculator. He taught himself, some simple basic programs, by reading the instruction books, that came with the computer. He joined, as a computer science student, at the University of Helsinki. In 1991, after taking a course, in Unix, and C, Torvalds bought his own personal computer, PC. He was unhappy with the operating system MS-DOS, that came with the computer, and decided, to write his own. Torvalds became interested in Minix, a small Unix-like operating system. Torvalds decided, to develop an operating system, that exceeded the Minix standards. He called it, Linux, a contraction for Linus Minix. In September 1991, Linus announced Linux, and encouraged his colleagues, to use the source code, for wider distribution. Linux, a portable operating system was the title, of his thesis in MSc. After spending, 10 years as a student, and researcher, at the University of Helsinki, coordinating the development of the Linux kernel, Linus Torvalds, accepted a job, with Transmeta, a Silicon Valley startup company, known for its recruitment of high-profile talent and its Crusoe chip. He married Tovmoni and has three children. Mark Zuckerberg, is the co-founder, and CEO, of the social networking website Facebook. He is an American internet entrepreneur, and philanthropist. Mark was born on, May 14, 1984, in White Plains, New York. Mark developed an interest, in computers, at an early age of 12 years. During Zuckerberg's high school years, he built a music player, called the Synapse Media Player, under the company name, Intelligent Media Group. Many companies, including Microsoft, and AOL, showed an interest, in purchasing the software, and hiring the teenager, before graduation. Zuckerberg enrolled at Harvard University. On February 4, 2004, Facebook was launched by Zuckerberg, with his college roommates, Eduardo Savarin, Andrew McCollum, Dustin Moskovitz, and Chris Hughes from his Harvard dormitory room. Facebook had, 1 million users, by the end of 2004. On May 24, 2007, Zuckerberg declared, Facebook platform as a development platform, for programmers, so as to create social applications, within Facebook. On November 6, 2007, Zuckerberg made announcement of Beacon, a social advertising system, which enabled users to share information, with their Facebook friends, based on their browsing activities on other sites. Zuckerberg announced, Facebook Connect, a version of Facebook platform, for users on July 23, 2008. Zuckerberg reported, that the company reached the 500 million user mark, on July 21, 2010. On May 19, 2012, Zuckerberg got married to Priscilla Chan, his longtime girlfriend, marking her graduation from medical school. In 2007, at age 23, he became the world's youngest, self-made billionaire. As of 2019, he is the only person, under 50, in the Forbes 10 richest people list, and the only one, under 40, in the top 20 billionaires list. Dennis Ritchie, the man who created the C programming language. He is called the father of the C programming language. 
Ritchie was born on, September 9, 1941, in Bronxville, New York. His father Alistair Ritchie, was a switching systems engineer, at Bell Laboratories. Dennis graduated from Summit High School, then got a bachelor's degree, from Harvard University, in physics, and applied mathematics field, in 1963, and a PhD in mathematics, in 1968, from Harvard University. He moved later to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Dennis is a key developer, of the Unix operating system, and co-author, of the book The C Programming Language. Ritchie started his career, in 1967, as he started to work, at the Bell Laboratories, Computing Sciences Research Center. At Bell Laboratories, Ritchie worked on the, Multix project. Multix, was an operating system. Dennis met there, Ken Thompson, a scientist who wrote the original Unix. Bell Laboratories, stopped working on Multix, Ritchie, and Ken, decided to work on a successor, called Unix. That modern operating system, UNIX, spread within Bell Laboratories, and later was announced, to the world, in 1973. The original Unix kernel, was written in the assembly language, but Ritchie and Ken decided, that they need a higher level language. Ritchie and Thompson used, BCPL, Basic Combined Programming Language, to write Unix, by squeezing it into 8 kilobytes, and renamed it, B. Ritchie, responded to that problem, by designing a new computer language, called C, as an upgrade, of the B language, by adding data types, and new syntax to it. Ritchie and Ken, rewrote the Unix, in the C language. In 1978, the C programming language book, was published by, Dennis Ritchie, and Brian Kernighan. They were known together as, K and R, Kernighan and Ritchie. By the middle of the 1980, C language became, one of the most popular programming languages, in the world. The C programming language, is still being universally used, as the second most popular programming language, in the world, and its influence, is still seen, in most modern programming languages. For more about computer, click below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.